We often glorify the rational investor, the data-driven, number-crunching financial whiz who makes decisions purely on statistics and trends. But as we'll see today, this kind of investing can sometimes lead to unexpected pitfalls. Let's rewind back to the era of the tech bubble. Rational investors were pumping money into tech stocks riding the wave of the dot-com euphoria. The data seemed promising, rapid growth rates, increase in stock prices, and the promise of a digital revolution. But then, the bubble burst. Many of these can't-fail tech companies crashed, and investors saw their portfolios evaporate overnight. The rational, data-driven approach had failed to consider one crucial factor, the human behavior of the herd mentality. Suppose a rational investor sees a stock plummeting. The data suggests it's now undervalued, a perfect buy low opportunity. So they buy in, expecting a rebound. But the stock keeps falling and the investor's stress levels go up. Despite what the data suggests, the investor is losing sleep and the quality of life is impacted and they sell at a loss. Here, a rational decision led to a poor outcome because it ignored the human factor, the emotional side. So, what's the lesson here? Investing isn't just a game of numbers, it's a game deeply entwined with our emotions, biases, and individual circumstances. While data can provide valuable insights, it's not the be-all and end-all. And that's where the concept of being a reasonable investor comes into play. You consider the data, yes, but you also consider your emotions, your risk tolerance, and your personal financial goals. The key is to always strike a balance between being rational and being reasonable. As we've seen, ignoring the human factors can lead to surprising pitfalls. So use data to inform your decisions, but don't forget to check in with yourself. Ask, is this decision reasonable for me? That's a wrap on today's thought-provoking episode. Rational fails when data isn't enough. And the truth is, sometimes the data is never enough. You just see the data that you want to see. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and share with your friends. Comment below about your experiences with rational and reasonable investing. Have you ever had a rational fail? Most of us have. Stay tuned for more financial insights in my next video.